renewable power generation for our solar char uh, our, our supercharged uh, stations. Um, you know, we've sort of temporarily, you know, not not added solar power because, in the interest of just having uh, uh, national and international coverage, that you can drive anywhere in the U.S., Europe, or Asia uh, using superchargers. Uh, we haven't we haven't um, constrained that so that every supercharger has to have solar panels. There are a few that have solar panels, most don't. But in the long term, um, all of them will either have solar solar panels or uh, otherwise get their power from renewable sources. Um, and uh, in, in long term, I expect it to be solar panels to a stationary battery pack um, so that the solar panels can sort of charge the, the, the stationary battery pack over the course of the week. Um, and then the, the stationary battery pack can then buffer the, buffer the energy um, and release it during peak times. Because what we see with superchargers is um, huge differences in usage. And you can imagine like if, when people go away for the weekend, like Friday nights and Saturday nights, uh, Friday and Sunday, Friday nights and Sunday nights, huge peak usage. People are going somewhere like on a family trip for the weekend. Um, let's say, you know, uh, Wednesday at uh, you know 11 a.m. Uh, low usage. Um, so you want to have battery, stationary battery pack, solar panels, and and, and then, then it could work even if the power grid goes down. You know, so that's like, I think like that'd be cool to have something like even post-apocalypse. You know. You can still drive around. <laughs> okay. Perhaps we can take a couple.